I was born ready. Hey, I, you were born ready. Okay. Hey, YouTube. This is Fat Ass Femme. Special guest, The Kid, Big Row. So, I told you all in previous videos that I was going to come back with the whole polygamy thing and some views and interview someone that knows a lot about it. <laughs> so, I have some questions for her. Okay, so this is going to be about polygamy. This is part two from the first video. If you haven't seen the first one, go check it out. Leave me comments. Subscribe. All that hot <laughs> shit. Okay, so what are your views on polygamy? Lesbian polygamy. Let, I'm glad you said lesbian and polygamy because there is a difference. Um, lesbian polygamy and just polygamy totally are two different things. Um, most polygamy followers believe that they live the principle of plural marriage just to um, make it to heaven. You know, it's a spiritual thing why they live the, the plural lifestyle. But um, lesbian polygamy, the benefits and and why you partake in it are just more so for um, the family bond, the support, the the unity, just the whole family system, the structure of it. Um, I guess everybody could agree that a plural family builds a bigger bond or a bigger family. I mean, the chances of your lover going, stepping outside of the relationship, cheating, is few. I mean, if you if you have the right structure, if you have the right polygamous relationship, um, <laughs> all relationships don't last because everybody don't know how to deal. They Amen. don't know. They don't know how to um, deal. They just everybody just assumes that it's about sex. You say polygamy to people, and the first thing they think, oh, I can have two girlfriends. They just think about the pros of it, but it's a relationship. It's it's hard work. Um, if you're not getting in it for the right reasons and you don't know what the reasons you're getting into it for and it's not for you yourself it's for somebody else then it's bound to take a, a downhill course and it's not going to work I mean I don't care what you try to do to recover it once it starts downhill you just might as well meet that motherfucker at the bottom because <laughs> it's not going to work but have you ever been in a polygamous relationship I have been in a polygamous relationship um one mm -hmm. to date um i've been in one polygamous relationship and it was my very first polygamous relationship and it was a very eye-opening experience because even me being as intrigued and having the knowledge that i had on it i still wasn't ready for some of the issues that came along that you only you only get those lessons through trial and error there's no other way to say it. It's just like on the job training. You could be, you could be very talented. You could be very experienced, educated on the skill. But once you get on the job, you're not gonna know some of the stuff that's gonna pop up. So, I mean, I lived and I learned. I mean, would what I do again? it again? <laughs> what I do it again? Would she do it again? Um, hmm. I would definitely do it again. I would definitely do it again. With now some of the views and some of the experience that I've learned, I would do it again. But I would definitely only do it again with women who were definitely as intrigued or inter. I'm not even going to say intrigued because intrigue is something that people, um, or I'll say it's an experience they only deal with for the moment, intriguement. But they would definitely have to be interested in living a polygamous or a plural lifestyle and both females have to honestly like seriously be with the lifestyle not just the doing it for the moment they have to look at what the benefits long terms are because there, there's a lot of benefits from a long-term polygamous relationship and there are a lot of people who live the relationship they're just not you know running around waving flags and you know saying <laughs> it because it's a lifestyle that's looked down upon on, with people. It you is. know, people think, I mean, you some freaking, some, some freaky shit. It has really nothing to do with sex. It's just, mm, it gets all. a bad rap about sex, but yeah, I would definitely do it again. Definitely. What do you think is good about the lifestyle? What's good about the lifestyle is one, 
you have a you have a relationship that challenges you. It's not just like the normal lesbian relationship where there's one on one and or heterosexual relationship. There's just two people. That relationship needs work, but a polygamous relationship definitely needs extra work, time, and attention. Um, all parties involved. Um, it shows you a lot about yourself, in a sense. Two, you have a bigger family structure. There's not just one person you can go to and tell them everything you're going through. There's somebody else. So it's like you're bouncing yourself off of smoke and mirrors. You know, it's like two people are not going to pretty much feed you what you want to hear. You know, so one person might have one view, one person might have the other. And then it's just like um, three people together working for the same goal usually can make it happen. Two people might be kind of testy, but three people in a unit working towards the same goal, you're bound to hit the target at some point. So, I mean, and then there's a benefit from it. You have three women who, <laughs> who work and who want beautiful things. That's a nice lifestyle to live. You know, I mean... Who would not want to get spoiled by two other women that love them? But if you're not getting spoiled by the others. Well, you were in the wrong relationship. <laughs> you are in the wrong polygamous relationship. I'm just, I'm keeping it following you. I'm just saying, at some point, you need to rethink why you're there. And I'm not saying, because I know that there's somebody that's hearing me wrong, that is hearing me say, you should be in a polygamous relationship because of the benefits. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying there are... Bennett this perks from it. Um, being in a polygamous relationship, you have two other souls that, I mean, you love, y'all benefit from. Makes living a whole lot easier. The task of a household is so much easier. It's like now you have kids, you have work, they have school. Out of three women in one household, somebody's going to be the breadwinner. Somebody's going to be the homebody. And somebody is going to damn be the caretaker of the kids. Or if not, best case scenario, all three of those people are are well experienced at all three phases. So, I mean, I don't about to it compliments. <laughs> it compliments. <laughs> this lady. <laughs> this lady. Go ahead. I mean, I'm going to just put it out there on blast. We were in a polygamous relationship. And I would love to interview the third party. We'll talk about that. <laughs> that um, would be a show. I would really love for her to be on, in on this. The My views on it, you know, with our situation, it was very hard. It was very hard. Nothing was equal, and that was my issue. So how do you balance that out? Um, Taking from our past. Taking from our past and our experience, um, because it was like being base. equal never it never started off equal, right? It never started off equal, so you can't anything that does not start off equal, it's very hard to catch up because you you feel like you're always playing catch up, and then when you get to a point where you are caught up, nothing is the same because you're caught up, but you're caught up to what you're caught up to what you feel is equal, but both parties already have their way of how they feel. Well, don't you think it was already hard because me and the other young lady didn't have an established relationship, but we had an established established relationship with you, right? So you didn't think that was and that, no, that was hard. not equal, and that that's the whole reason why I say you had to go into living a plural lifestyle because it's something you want to do, and especially it's not going to be equal when one person is only doing it because they love one person. Right, it should be a lifestyle that you you want to choose want. because all three parties have to have an equal a equally healthy relationship with each other. So it wasn't equal because you guys were pretty much just like thrown in the mix or thrown together to make to want to be in this relationship because you both love me. It wasn't because you two equally had this this bond. That y'all wanted to just grow. Well, and speaking my on, but you know, I was I love the lifestyle, love it, but you know, to each his own. Yeah, it, that's why I say some everybody, people it's not for them. Everybody has to 
be in agreement. And this is, has, it has to be something they want because one thing that's going to arise is jealousy. Jealousy is going to come. Jealousy is a normal emotion for anybody. I get jealous. Jealousy <laughs> is a normal emotion. But if you know how to focus the jealousy, that's what makes the relationship work. So real quick, because we about to run out of time. <laughs> what do you suggest for someone that's interested in the lesbian polygamous relationship? What do you suggest? I, oh, and it's a difference between being in an open relationship and being in a polygamous It relationship. is, but you know, that's, that's a whole other topic. I know, but right? yeah. Um, I suggest that you discuss with people what your views are up front. Don't try to talk to a person, get to like them, and get them all interested in you, and then you, you put this on them, or you tell them that that's what you're into, because nine times out of ten, they're going to, because they're already wrapped up into you, they're going to agree, and then later on down the line, you're going to run into a bunch of, well, I didn't really want to do it because I was doing it because I love you. You want a person that wants to go into this because they know what the benefits of the relationship will be and they want to they want to be in a plural relationship. So you talk to, you know, there there are plenty plenty of lesbian women out here that would love to be in a plural relationship. It's just that a lot of people don't talk about it. They don't communicate about it because yeah. Yeah. They don't think that people are really open. And for the record, there are far more femmes than it is dogs. <laughs> So think about it. Yes. Really? Yes. We still I have a lot of time left. Okay. We have like three minutes. <laughs> I mean. So that's I don't your know. take. I just, I just think if you if you want to be in a polygamous relationship, I mean, talk to different people. Let them know that that's what you're into. If you let people know what you're into, you might be surprised because they might be like, you know, well, I'm kind of into that too. I don't know of any websites. I don't know of any, you know, um, social networks that gear especially towards it because I don't go out looking or recruiting people. <laughs> it's just that the people. <laughs> it's just <Lying>. no. <laughs> it's just that through my personal experience, I've just been open enough to meet individuals that were or oh, eight individual. Freaky. No, I'm playing. Yeah, that too. <laughs> that was interested in um, living the lifestyle. So definitely find an individual who is with it. Not somebody that you have to coach into it or train it. Mm. And polygamous relationship, it has nothing to do with pimping for the ignorance mm. that yeah. want to run with that. No, no. It has nothing to do with pimping. Because if I was putting her on a stroll or having her get paid, then that would be something totally different. But it has nothing to do with pimping. What? Because for real, two pimps and a dom, the dom always ends up being the one that gets pimped to keep it real funky. Because that job is that. Oh, we can go to another show. Those shoes are hard to feel. I'm I'm trying to tell you. It's not hard. One on your face and one on your waist. Ain't nothing hard about it. But it's hard. Come on, man. That's that's (laughs) hard. Okay, I was being nasty. That's hard. That's a hard job. I'm telling you. Especially. When everybody just be like, oh, you got the best of both worlds. You get to do this. You get to do that. But live that life, hard. Live that life hard. for a day. I mean, it's if hard. you're not emotionally strong enough or you're not physically built tough enough for it, oh, it'll weigh you down quickly. Quickly. Well, this was supposed to be another topic, but we'll be back. You know, this is all of lesbian polygamy. Any comments, questions? Inbox me. I bet you do want to put it down there. <laughs> See that section I'm talking no, about right there? Below the comment, you know, the comment below. box. The love yeah, below. The comment box. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, this has been Fat Ass Fem, the kid. The kid, big bro. Love yourself, respect yourself, because if you don't, nobody else will. Peace. No.